Flames like this one help keep the lights on across Iraq. Electricity is in high demand, especially during the summer, and power plants rely on gas. Most of it comes from fields like the Basra gas field in the south. And because it's associated gas with oil, a single well provides both oil and gas. But Iraq doesn't produce enough gas for its power stations. A third of what it needs is imported from Iran. In the 1980s, Iranian jets took out most of Iraq's oil and gas infrastructure. Then the sanctions that followed Saddam Hussein's invasion of Kuwait stalled any redevelopment. Now Iraq's economy is weak, the US is an important ally, and both Saudi Arabia and Iran are its neighbors. Iranian gas is a burden on Baghdad's stretched budget and a loaded issue for domestic and regional politics. Prime Minister Adil Abdul Mehdi wants to make Iraq energy independent. His oil minister has already signed multi-billion dollar deals with international companies such as Honeywell, Exxon and Shell. Unfortunately, because of the wars, we were delayed. And that's why really the gas uh, industry was lagging behind. Now, uh, we are concentrating on this. Uh, in the past, we used to burn more than 50% two years, two, three years ago. We are now utilizing about uh, 55 and burning 45. I want to be realistic, 45 years, there will be, I would dare to say, there will be candles, not those flares that you see now, okay? And this, of course, will lead to many advantages. One, of course, providing gas for power generation. It will definitely make Iraq uh, uh, energy independent. We don't need to import. And, of course, uh, instead of burning, we'll make, you know, re revenue out of it. Maintaining a gas field under 46 degrees is anything but easy. But these Iraqis are making sure that they continue to pump the gas, which helps run their country. Besides the gas needed for electricity, these gas fields also produce other types for domestic use and export. 75% of Iraq's liquefied petroleum gas, or LPG, comes from this gas field. But it is a facility which is more than 25 years old. That's why this section of the plant is being renovated. Its electricals, mechanicals and instruments all are being replaced. To do these upgrades requires major investment. Iraq's government says despite obstacles like corruption, red tape and an unstable region, investors are coming to Baghdad. Gas is the primary resource in the southern region, especially to generate electricity. Most of the old power plants were modified from liquid fuel operations to gas-powered plants. Hence, there was an urgent need for investment and to upgrade production. As tensions escalate between U.S. and Iran, Iraq wants to defuse so it can attract more companies to help achieve Baghdad becoming energy independent. Osama bin Javed al-Jazeera, Khora Zubair, Basra.